Hello everyone, this is Chocrit. What I have for you today is a proof of concept for a completely redstoneless computer. And by completely redstoneless, I mean completely redstoneless. I've seen some designs that use trip wires or pressure plates or doors, trap doors. I mean completely redstoneless. Any redstone device is not allowed in this computer. Only signs, water, falling sand, and torches are going to be used to do any computations in this proof of concept. Uh, my first uh, example for a circuit is a repeater. Uh, basically, you know what a repeater does. It extends the, extends the uh, line, extends the signal. So that's exactly what this does. Basically, the water reaches a torch, washes it away, makes sand fall, and makes the next water continue in its path and that gets sent as far as you want it, so this is the repeater. Uh, the next thing, uh, the next most basic thing is a NOT gate, and this is an example for a NOT gate. The green wool is our input, so what happens if this is off, and we break all of these signs that are stacked on each other onto the sand? Uh, basically, since there's no water, this torch won't get washed away, which allows this water to flow out, and that's our output, so that's not. However, if there is water, then this torch will get washed away, which will break both of these signs, allow this sand to fall, and block this water from flowing. So let me show you that right now. So there is without water, and here it is with water. So you see in without water, we got an output, and with water, the sand fell, the signs broke, and the other sand fell, and we blocked both of the water streams, meaning that we have no output, and that is uh, functionally a NOT gate. Now, the next circuit that I have is an exclusive OR gate, an XOR gate. Uh, so if only one input is on, do we get an output? If both are on, we get no outputs. So, basic idea for uh, a redstoneless and XOR gate will be that these torches will get washed away for each of the respective inputs. Now, on each of these falling sand are a group of signs. So these signs go over here, and this will fall when these signs break. And similarly for this sand. Now, if only one is on, then it'll break the, the torch, the sand will fall, but the water will be allowed to flow all the way through here to our output. And similarly for the other side. But if both are on, then both of them are going to get blocked by the other one. And we won't get an output. So let me give you an example of that. So with only one, let's break all the signs. With only one, we get the output. With only the other, we also get an output. And with both we will not get an output. So you see with both, the all the sand fell, and we blocked both streams. So that is my XOR gate. And the last one that I've decided to emulate uh, is an AND gate. And AND gate is exactly what it is. Both A and B have to be on. So when one of the inputs is on, it'll wash out a respective torch and it'll cause this sand to fall. Now both of these sands have to fall for this water to get all the way through. If this one falls, it'll reach here. If just that one falls, of course, it won't go anywhere. And if both fall, then it'll be able to make it all the way around. So let's do that. Let's just do this one. And only gets there. Let's just do this one. And that doesn't go anywhere, but that one fell. Now, if both are on, then we'll be able to do this. So the water will go all the way around, and we have our output. Now, this is really interesting for a kind of minimalist build, uh, like a go-back-in-time build, because redstone was added after water blocks and signs uh, and torches. So, theoretically, you could build a computer in Minecraft before redstone was added. Now that's exactly what I've gone on to do. What you have here is an 8-digit adder, a binary adder using only swats. 
SWATs being sign, water, torch, and sand, so SWTS. That's what I've abbreviated this system. Uh, this adder has two inputs uh, per digit. One is the lime and one is the dark green. And each, if you place water in or leave water out, that represents a one or a zero respectively. So I've got ones place, twos, fours, eights, sixteens, thirty twos, sixty fours, one hundred and twenty eights. Now the two numbers I've got entered right now in the lime we have seventy five. In the green, we have 86, and the answer we're expecting, spoiler, is 161. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Place some water in there to get it started. You'll see stuff starts falling everywhere. We get some addition already happening. Okay, we've got the ones out. We've got water flowing down there. We've got signs falling everywhere. Some water blades. More sand falling. More sand falling. Got a little bit more to do, and I think that was it. So let's check our answer. So we were expecting 161. So we've got one, and twos, fours, eights, and sixteens are empty. 32. So one and 32 is 33. 64 place is empty. 128 and 33 is 161. So there's our answer. Uh, it works for any number. Uh, you do have to reset it every time, but I thought it very interesting that you could do this build with alpha materials before redstone was even added. Now, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Matt Parker, who I will link in the description. He made a adder out of dominoes in real life, and he has a wonderful explanation video on how to actually build an adder, the logic behind one, and he's got the, the world record for adding... Uh, two three-digit binary numbers together to make a four-digit binary number using only dominoes. And it's a wonderful, wonderful computer. Now, I'll go ahead and leave some schematics in the description as well for this whole thing and for each segment. There's going to be two schematics for the segment. One for this first bit that is kind of the starter, so where you start the adder and it's the first digit. And then Another bit that's also, that's the second digit, but that second digit can be tiled as many times as you like off into the distance. And then on the last one, you're going to have to build the carry, uh, but it should work perfectly fine. Now I'm going to sign off here. If you liked, leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe or leave some comments, suggestions for future builds, leave those down below. And I will see you next time.